stitching is done with a flat tip of a chisel point soldering copper or one of the corners at the tip of a pencil point copper. The goal is to heat the joint in a very specific area, melting a small area of solder and drawing it further into the joint. Since we are heating such a small area, the soldering copper is slightly cooler than for soldering. One method of stitching is called a butterfly stitch. The concept is like making a series of X's across the seam. When the solder solidifies, the surface of the stitched joint appears to have ridges of solder perpendicular to the seam opening. Starting at the top of the joint and keeping the handle end of the soldering copper higher than the tip, the soldering copper points slightly down, place one corner of the chisel point against the lower piece of copper. The corner should be about one quarter inch from the opening of the joint. The process is extremely similar to the initial soldering, but we are using a lower temperature and proceeding down instead of up the seam. Remember, if the soldering copper becomes too hot, solder will flow out of the seam and off the sheets. Pivot the handle of the soldering copper and move back across the joint again, applying solder and flux as necessary. Continue to stitch down the joint. If you notice the joint coming apart, use a steel tool to keep the sheets together while removing the soldering copper and allowing the solder to solidify. Stitch all the way down to the bottom of the seam to the lowest point of the joint. When at the bottom of the seam, visually inspect the seam opening. If there are gaps, stitch over these areas again to fill with solder. Inspect the front and when possible, back side of the seam. On the front, there should be no gaps, solder should fill the seam, and characteristic stitching ridges should pass back and forth across the joint. On the back, solder has flowed all the way through the joint, appearing at the edge of the lap. Rinse flux residue from the seam with a solution of water and baking soda.